project this sphere, this point onto this plane axis. So what you can do is that you can draw a line that joins basically these two points and extend it to this line. So I'm going to say that okay, to corresponding to this point, I have a point here. So kind of this point is the stereographic projection of this point. And I can do similar thing with any point I want. So take this point, I can draw a line and project it on this point. Any point. Are you getting the point? Any point can be done with this point. So, so this stereographic projection is going to be a map which is going to turn this circle or maybe the punctured circle or sphere into you know, a line which we are uh, completely agreeing. Okay. So in case of three dimension, what we do, for example, this is my sphere, and so sitting in 3D, and imagine this is what you call the x y plane. Okay. So you can imagine that this x y x y plane is cutting it from the middle actually. Okay. And I'm saying that okay, this is my you know, north pole or south pole, whatever you want to take it. And I'm saying that take any point on sphere and join them through a line. So wherever this line, and extend it basically, so wherever this line is going to hit, intersect this plane. plane is going to intersect with this plane, that point is basically the projection of the point on sphere onto the plane. And that's how the map is made at, through this geographic. So all these maps are made to be by, all the maps of the world are made by, in a world this simple principle there. Okay. But essentially what you have to do is you have to poke a hole. So if you poke a hole, this sphere is no more a sphere, it's topologically now a plane. So like if you poke the hole here, the circle is no more a circle, it's topologically a line actually. So in other words, you can always find a transformation that turn this circle or a sphere into line or a plane. So I'm going to give you one such kind of a there are many, I am going to give you one such map and your task is to, to verify the stuff for me. Okay? So here is the atlas for it. I can cover this atlas by two parts. Okay? U1, phi1 and U2, phi2. Where the U2, phi2 is defined in this map. So U1 is Sn, okay, and North Pole removed from it, in other words, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's just a top of the, what do you call, sphere, I just thrown it away, okay. And U2 is what you call the South Pole removed from it, okay. Can you see the analogy between this U1, U2 and this U1, U2? You can already feel the analogy. So think about it. Let's go. Okay. Yes, what do you mean by that? So imagine I have a circle. I'm saying that take this part. And I say that I have a rope that I have to get. So I'm just completely revolving around. So, the rope is going to cover this much part, every part except one point. Okay? So, that's my U1. And then I'm saying that, okay, take another, take another point on the circle, okay, and then put another rope that covers everything on the circle except this point. In this manner, you can completely cover that. And now I'm doing what? Let's think about something similar in three dimension actually. So instead of a rope, you have a plane now. Okay? So you have a plane which you wrap around the ball and it covers everything except North Pole. And you have another plane which covers everything on sphere except South Pole. Are you getting the point? So that's U1 and that's U2. So that's N minus what would be this? This would be 
It's going to be zero, 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 minus one. So zero, 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 minus one. Okay? Okay? So in other words, x square plane is kind of slicing it from half. Are you getting the point? So let me define a map phi 1. In other words, I want to do this. I want to take a point from sphere and throw it on the a line, or in case of sphere now, I want to throw it on the x square plane. If I'm three dimension, I will call this as an x square plane. Okay, but since I'm in half a dimension, so I, even my plane is hyperactive. So let me define phi one. So phi one is a map from okay u one into R n, and it is defined as phi one takes a point x one, x two, x n plus one. Okay, and give you. So it should be R n plus one, right? Yes, it should be R n plus one. Yes, it is. A point in R n plus one, but it must be projected in R n. Huh? No, 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 no. It should be R n plus one. Look at that. So circle is sitting in two dimension, but when you are projecting it, it's one dimension. So, so the sphere, the sphere sitting in two dimension, but when you project it, it's a two dimensional object. So, so I want to project it into R n. And how I'm doing it, I'm doing it through this map. Okay. The map is pretty simple. X one over. Okay. Let me write it generally. X i over. Okay. X i over. 1 minus x n plus 1, where i runs from 1 to 1. Okay? This is the map. Okay? What would be phi 2? You can verify that if this point is lying on a sphere, then this point lie on the plane actually. Anyway, what would be phi 2? You see what I mean? x1 over 1 minus xn plus 1, x2 over 1 minus xn plus 1, and so on and so forth. map that is taking me from sphere and throwing it in a plane. By the way, I need also phi inverse, phi 1 inverse. So I can compute phi 1 inverse with my techniques that I have and I can show that phi 1 inverse is going to be a map that is going to be mapped from Rn into U1, U1, which is an Rn plus 1. And the phi one inverse of uh, say y one, y two, and y n is actually equal to equal to. Okay. Shall I write it directly? Two y j over where j runs from one to n. Two y j over n plus 1 to Sum i equal to 1 to n y i ka square plus 1. Okay? Indexing n plus 1 ta kalam ni masal lakke. And j say n plus 1. Yes, you are right. This, this is going to be the map phi. Looks strange. Okay, I can get into the details that how this came, but this would be an unnecessary thing to do for now. Tutorial and see that why these maps are there. So I'm telling you a way to project U1 into Rn. This is the map. What we can verify from here, okay? What we can verify from here is that this phi1 is continuous. Why this is continuous? Can you see it from definition? 
So see, the only controversial point has been removed actually. Yes. So the yes. thing yes. that can make this guy explode is that when x n plus 1 is 1. So you got we removed it. So, so that's simple a polynomial actually. And hence a continuous map. No problem with it. Similarly, I can also prove that this is continuous. Yes, but yes, we can see that this is a map, this is a point on sphere. So what you need to do is just basically, you know, just check this constraint out. Component wise, square curve and add it, and you can get, you should get ultimately one. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Acha, ye, ye is just for this, plus one is outside. Okay, it's not, it's not that. Okay, we can also see that this is also continuous. N plus 1 is a component. Is it time month? 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 Height than one actually. So it's just one point. So therefore, take it. So enough to remove one point. If it's just Rn, I mean, if I can take this point to be any point in Rn plus 1, then yes, that's, then it's a double making point. But if it is a sphere, okay, then So what we can see is that phi 1 and phi 1 inverse are to be continuous. Take it. That's what I said. Yeah.